keep it as it is. We're going to take it on the other side and then it's on the other, the other way. Look here, maintaining your equal signs in one line, you have your 2x squared. All right? Then we are taking the, post, the negative x squared the other side to become a positive x squared. Then, if I take it on the other way, I bring with the positive 4. Do you see that one there? Mm -hmm. We put our 4 here. However, now we are bringing positive 4 this way. Remember, we are collecting like terms. So it becomes a negative 4. So you can see that now we have 2x squared plus 1x squared. It's like having two sweets plus one sweet. How many sweets do you have? Three sweets. So here we should have three, our sweets are x squared. However, four minus four is what? Zero. If you divide by three both sides, you have three x squared equal to zero. Divide by three by three, okay? You, get, you end up getting x equal to what? x equal to zero. Isn't it? X equal to zero. Which means, therefore, that this one here is going to be our intercept. So in conclusion, we are going to come and say that what? Please observe this class. I don't want you to miss out on this one. I want you to scoop all the marks on this number. Trust me, if you pay attention and you're active, you participate in a beautiful class, trust me, you're going to enjoy this number. Now, remember to get this x equal to zero. Hope you know how you've got it. The zero, this one died with that one. Zero over three is a zero. When you get the root sign, both sides going to remain what? It's going to remain as a zero. Okay? So it's okay. You cannot say plus or minus zero because zero is neutral. It can't be positive or negative. That's why we leave it like, I leave it like this. So